What I've now done is I have implemented two more intents. I have implemented this use intent, which is the intent that allows me to combine items. And I've also added this inventory intent such that you can check what items you have in your inventory right now. This intent is interesting because it's both something that I think users are going to want to do, but it's also something that might help me debug. Now, before showing you the actions.py file again, I have made changes to my domain.yaml file, mainly to make sure that my intents have use and inventory in them, and that I also have my actions defined here. I have also made some changes to my stories.md file. I have to make sure that my inventory command is listed. And as you'll see below here, I'm also making sure that my use command is being used. And finally, I have got my implementation in my actions.py file over here, but it deserves to be said that the implementation here is very similar to the implementations that we saw before. So again, what I'm mainly doing is I'm referring to this tracker to fetch slots. That way I can keep track of my state. And again, I'm trying to fail elegantly where possible. The use command is a little bit different because the way that I've currently implemented it is that I say, well, there are these combinations of things that you can combine. For example, if you combine the key with the box, then I am going to utter why put the key back into the box. It's probably super useful. If, however, you were to combine the key with the door, then I would say, hey, the key fits. That's amazing. The door is open now. And I'm using these combinations below here in my implementation to make sure that I give the user the right message back. Or if a combination cannot be made, then I again try to recover elegantly. But at this point in time, I would like to just mention that we have a basic implementation ready. So maybe at this phase, we shouldn't worry too much about refactoring the code or optimizing our machine learning pipelines. Probably the best thing to do now is to just play around with the adventure game. See if we can come up with things that just make it slightly more fun or slightly more clear. We have a base implementation going at this point. So now would be a good time to start thinking about conversational design, maybe just a little bit more.